हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू एस लर्निंग सो गाइस एक्चुअली वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड वीडियोस ऑन इंटरव्यू रियल टाइम इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस विद कॉग्निजेंट एक्सेंचर और एक लेट्स सी एल माइंड ट्री एम्फेसिस इन्फोसिस सो यू कैन गो थ्रू आवर चैनल आई विल प्रोवाइड अ लिंक इन डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी द इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस विद हेक्सावेयर सो द इंटरव्यू वॉज for the experience 4 to 6 years and the salary offered was in the range of 14 to 16 lpa and the tech stack which were mostly required were java spring boot sql and microservice so let's start first question was what are java 8 features so this was a simple actually the whole interview was simple and that was the first round and uh, the first question was what are java 8 features so you can name as a optional java stream api lambda expression method reference then functional interface like this explain any two of the java 8 features which you have worked on so you can explain any of the features if you have worked on java 8 and if the java 8 is present in your resume so most commonly asked questions on based on java 8 are mostly on stream api and lambda expression and functional interface so uh, be prepared for this three concept before you attend any interview on java 8 next question was also on stream api only find employees with age greater than 30 using stream api so you can just use the stream dot filter method and you can just uh, use get age method from your pojo class and you can give the condition as e dot get age greater than 30 and then you can collect into list so that was a simple question based on stream api next question was what is the difference between hash map and concurrent hash map so this comes under concurrent hash maps comes under the scenario where we have to deal with multiple threads at the same time or you can say concurrently so this concurrent hash map was introduced to avoid the uh, like error of co concurrent be, uh, modification exception so if you are have multiple threads and you are, you are using hash map then read and write is not possible at the same time it may give your concurrent modification exception in the hash map but if you use concurrent hash map that can be resolved and you can perform read and write by using number of the threads so it will resolve that concurrent modification exception also next question was how can we disable auto configuration on specific class in spring boot so you can use this was based on a spring boot only and you can use at the rate or enable auto configuration and then you can pass the exclude property equal to exclude equal to the class which you want to uh, exclude from auto configuration next is what are factory design pattern and single run design pattern so these two patterns are the like most important uh, design patterns and the questions in the interview will be asked mostly on these two only and out of that only uh, singleton is the major one or famous one so you can uh, uh, tell about the factory pattern as like uh, we have one parent class and there are like a number of implementation of those that parent class and at the looking at the object or instance which you have created you can call that particular method like we have class a class b class c so if you want to uh, access the object of a then you can create the object of a in the parent class itself and by this you will create the factory of the object so this is called factory design pattern you can read in more detail on google and uh, the singleton design pattern is you can create only one instance per application level so it will get used again and again and if the if the instance is null then that time only it will create the new instance you can give the example as database connection you can just create one database connection class and as a singleton and you can use it at multiple points in inside your application next question is write code for singleton class so you can mention about the private uh, constructor then static variable then static method which is having the written type of singleton only and inside that function get get instance function you can provide him like if instance is null that condition you can provide and if instance is null then only create the object otherwise return the same instance which was created earlier 
so just go through once the snippet of singleton class from google or you can refer the gigs for gigs for the best solution next question was also based on writing the logic like that is write code for immutable class so you can provide him about the like final variable final class then uh, deep copy thing and then you can have a private constructor and all such thing what are the steps you can mention him and create a simple immutable class next question was what is service discovery in microservice so service discovery component will act as your parent in which a multiple you know, service present in that particular architecture will communicate and from here only you will get to know which service are lying where and whenever any request will come at api gateway it will check that which service to call by looking at the service discovery so you will you will discover all the small small spring boot application that is microservice using service discovery next question was the difference between microservice and monolithic architecture so you can uh, list out list down the number of differences the main differences which i can tell is that in monolithic you have to use only single database for your application but in microservice you can vary the usage of database as per your app microservices uh, has been configured you can use different technologies also but in like uh, we have one java application one only spring boot application one core java application or uh, you can have a like number of different technologies in microservice but in monolithic you are bound to be using only required uh, functionalities or technologies and in monolithic too much like uh, dependency is there on the deployment cycle so once the server goes down or anything goes down in the code the whole application will get fall down but in the concept of microservice if any service is getting down then it will not affect entire ar architecture it will just affect the that particular service part so there are n number of differences next question was difference between first level and second level cache so this was based on hypernet and jpa so first level cache is by default comes with the hypernet and second level cache you can configure using the eh cache or whatever the configuration inside the property file so first level cache resides at the session level while second level cache resides at the session factory level so these are the mostly important difference between first level and second level cache next question is difference between jp and repository and cloud repository so both act as a repository but uh, some of the methods differ between jp and cloud so in cloud you can get like uh, save and in, for insertion mostly insertion deletion updation and jp also provide its own method like a uh, finder method so you you can list down the like there was a finder method inside jpa but not in cloud and some methods which are present in cloud but not on jpa so you can list down the difference like this next question was what is rest api so rest api is a like player or you can say a communication technique to communicate between two web service or the front end and back end service using request urls so you can have a number of http method like get put delete post patch so you can use the mapping between both back end and front end by calling this http method and there are a number of uh, means you can uh, pass the data between two curve service or back end and front end in the terms of xml json and other types of uh, structure next question was also based on rest api that is difference between path variable and request pattern so path variable you can term it as a url in which we have one id and we have passed that id as a hard code like uh, slash one or slash two that uh, we have to capture using path variable but in the terms of request param the the value which we get from the uri will come after the question mark so you will have a request that is id question mark equal to one so whenever we have a url structure like id and then or uh, some other parameter and then question mark equal to that value then you can fetch it using request param So these were only the questions in the round one. I hope you will enjoy it and uh, 
if you have any suggestion or any correction wherever i've gone wrong so you can just comment down in the comment section and you can also refer our java interview question playlist sql interview question playlist and then real time interview questions playlist i will provide the link in description so that's it from this video thank you